Hello there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. We are having a look at your Lionsgate portal today. This is a very important uh, cosmic alignment. This is where we have increased a cosmic energy between the spiritual and physical realms, and uh, it's occurring in the sign of Leo. So we call this the Lionsgate portal because of Leo. We also call it the 8 8 portal uh, because it does happen on the eighth month, on the eighth day. Now it's actually activated a little bit earlier than that. Uh, we start to get really into the energy around July uh, July 26th. Um, the portal closes um, August 12th, but granted the very, very height, the most important date we have is that August 8th, 8-8. Eight, eight, okay. This is a uh, this is a time period that has been honored and revered since ancient Egypt, because ultimately this is when Sirius, the brightest star we can see, Sirius rises in the sky, Orion's belt aligns with the Pyramid of Giza, and Sirius appears to be closer to the Earth. So it really is quite um, magical and mystical in that energy. Um, this is where we can really embody the soul, celebrate abundance that we have with all of life's blessings. Um, we elevate our spiritual wisdom and we can harvest the bounties that the season has to offer. Great portal for manifestation, for connecting with your spiritual self to engage in meditation, recharge your crystals, perhaps if you uh, have a bunch of them kicking around. All right, so this is quite often associated with Jupiter as well. And Jupiter is a wonderfully beneficial planet bringing us luck and abundance, expansion, growth, and wisdom into our lives. So harness the power of 88, the sun in Leo, which brings all kinds of passion and excitement and creative energy, and the star Sirius. So Sirius is very much a very magical and spiritual star that we see. So let's have a look here, Aries, and see what we've got for you guys in this portal. Uh, we have geomancy bringing in patience for you guys. Okay, so sometimes Aries patience may not be your strong suit. So part of the wisdom that you gain in this portal may be to learn to relax a little bit, to learn to allow things to blossom. You like to start things, you like to take initiative, right? You're like, yes, let's do it. And you know, you you are the first sign of the zodiac, right? So you are the initiator of things. Um, and then as we travel along our path, right, other signs pick up the pace. So, you know, it's sometimes when you're eager beaver to get started on things, sometimes you do tend to be a little bit like antsy, right? Like, let's get things done. So patience is very much a virtue. And sometimes we do need to learn a little bit of patience as we go through life. So you're being called upon to have that now. And especially if there's things that you're trying to manifest in your life, it can sometimes get frustrating. We want want things now. We want it here and now. I've been manifesting for six months and it never happens. And I keep going back and I keep repeating my manifestations. And, you know, sometimes that doesn't quite work, right? Because it's like placing an order with the cook in the kitchen, right? You're at a diner, you're placing your order, you know, bacon and eggs with hash browns on the side. And then, you know, five minutes later, you go back and you're like, you know what? I want bacon and eggs, hash browns on the side, but I also want some baked beans. Well, the cook has to start over again, right? So every time you go back to the well with the same kind of um, intention and manifestation, it's like you are starting your manifestation over again. But we also have to be ready for inspired action. And we also have to, you know, keep an open mind, keep an open heart and be willing to see the potential that certain offer opportunities offer us. Because sometimes we want you know, the big pot of gold, but sometimes what actually happens because we're co-creating with the universe, we need to remember that the pot of gold starts with a coin. And so the universe will hand you a coin. What are you going to do with that coin, right? And so the universe will work with you to grow that coin into that pot of gold. And that's often how things do manifest in our world. So we do sometimes need to remember that and, you know, just have that very open energy, that very calm energy and allow things to come into an into existence in their natural um, speed. 
right? And if you force something into existence too fast or you give like, you know, people and ultimatums and things like that, that's often where things do fall apart down the road because we weren't ready for things, right? So spirit always makes sure that you are ready for the blessings that you've got coming. And a great incantation for the Geomancy card is, all will work out in good time. When the time is right, I receive what's mine. Trust and patience is the key to unlock the doors of mystery. So all in good time, all the puzzle pieces fit together. We also have card number 18 here, Ascension and the Rainbow Bridge. It's absolutely beautiful. You are about to experience a wonderful energetic shift. This is where your chakras open, this is where everything's in alignment for you, and you are about to cross over into a wonderful magical realm. You're tapping in and harvesting all of the powers of the universe, and you're using those to your advantage, right? It's like, come to me. So be open. Um, you know, you may want to very much, um, we're all being called at this time to do a little bit more um, meditation, reflection, connect with spirit however works for you whether you connect with nature um, maybe you want it because you're a fire sign maybe you do some candle work right or do something with lights maybe you have an affinity for twinkle lights um, but whatever works for you to make you feel connected and open and ready to receive because i feel like here you are very much in alignment to receive some very important information some wisdom okay and um you're just it's like a big bump up for you, okay? So embrace that wonderful openness, work with your chakras. Uh, you might even wanna work with like multicolored things like rainbows, right? I mean, our chakras, if you look at the colors of the chakras, they are rainbow, right? And it goes exactly in that order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And uh, starting from the root to the crown, of course, we've got other chakras as well that we don't normally see depicted. Okay, but work with your main chakras there. And, you know, even if you want to line up a bunch of colored crystals or a bunch of colored candles in the row, right, light, relight the red candle to work with your root chakra, right, your orange one to work with your sacral chakra, and you can go from there. And it can really help to, you know, help you to um, unpack and receive those downloads that you're getting. So the rainbow bridge energy is really absolutely beautiful and uh, so fabulous that you have received that. Okay, so we do have the light code of separation coming in here for you guys. Okay, so, you know, this can mean a couple of different things for you. We do tend to think of things as separate in our, in our human existence. Right, we think, okay, we go to work and it's separate from our home life, which is separate from, you know, maybe our uh, life or our experience with our friends. And, you know, our money is separate from our love and our relationships. And, you know, the 3D is separate from the 5D, right? And in truth, in truth, everything is actually interconnected. Right? What happens in our work life spills over into our home life. What happens with our money affects our relationships. What happens in our 3D realm is connected to our spiritual realm. So we need to recognize the fact that you know things are not separate. We do not compartmentalize things when it comes to energy in the universe and our existence on this plane. Everything is interwoven and interconnected together. So instead of thinking of things as separate uh, issues or separate um, experiences in our lives, think about instead how everything is actually interwoven and interconnected. And this is part of the spiritual growth, part of, um, you know, really opening up to uh, see things from a different perspective in a different way. Some of you may feel a little bit disconnected from people around you as well. You feel like you're separate, like you're apart. And this is perfectly normal, especially as you ascend upon your spiritual path. Because what happens ultimately is that as we grow, as we evolve, as we see things differently, we actually do lose a little bit of a connection with certain people, situations, or things in our lives, right? You might find yourself not really feeling connected with friends that you used to hang out with. And there's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with you. And there's no kind of big blow up or catalyst moment that happened. It's just that a drifting away. 
you may find yourself not watching the same TV shows or maybe not watching TV at all. And you might find that you just don't feel compelled to turn it on or you don't feel compelled to watch those types of programs anymore. And you might feel just that little bit of drifting away or that little bit of separation. Trust in that energy because it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with anybody. It's just that you are evolving and the things that you were energetically aligned with previously, you're no longer aligned with now. But there's room for new and mystical and magical things that are coming into your life. And as we do let the old drift away, we do welcome in that new. Okay, so, um, you know, even if you feel as though you're drifting apart, trust that this is part of your evolution. We also have the body energy and history. You know, the thing is, is that some of you are very much newbies on this earthly plane and some of you are old souls. Okay, and maybe, you know, you've been here multiple times or maybe you feel as though, you know, you have... Um, you know, you have, uh, everything is new in your experience. It's like a wide eyed wonder. Your body holds a lot of history, a lot of mystery. So, um, connect with your body. Okay. Now for some of you, maybe you're called at this time to get a little bit more physically active. When we connect with our body, especially as we're going through periods of spiritual growth, by allowing our body to move and to flow, we actually get the energy flowing. So this can be anything simple. I mean, if you've got some injuries, because there might be some injuries there in your in your physical body, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, right. We sometimes uh, you know do ourselves uh, do ourselves dirty as we're younger, right? And we think, oh, I'm gonna be living forever. I'm invincible. And then you get into your 30s or 40s, and you're like, oh man, I got a bum knee, right? That kind of thing. But in the body energy, this is really spirit saying we need you to open up. We need you to really get the energy flowing. So whether you do something that's maybe a little bit low impact like yoga, stretching, simple stretching, simple yoga practices, um, maybe you wanna ride your bicycle, perhaps you wanna go out for more walks in nature, right? Just anything to get your body flowing, um, get that energy flowing in your body moving. It can really help you um, in, your, uh, in your path forward and it can help you feel more grounded, more centered and a little bit more alive. And of course you're in touch with your physical body there. Right, so it's like spirits are really trying to help you understand that your body is part of your growth process. Right, we feel things, we uh, find ourselves doing things or not doing things. Right, and in your physical body, you're still here as a spiritual being having a human experience. So, we do need to take care of our body and we do need to connect with our body because that's where our energy flows through okay so it's all connected together and the ripple effect is showing you that as well and it's reminding you again about everything being interconnected right your physical body connected with your spiritual right you what you do what you say and the energy you put out affects the person sitting beside you right it's the ripple effect of the um, of the universe right all of that interconnected energy and if you've ever gone to you know we've all done it right you've gone to like a calm lake or like even a pond or something like that and you know maybe the glass the the surface of the water is just totally a flat calm and you can see your reflection in it and then you might drop a little pebble and the pebble starts the ripple right you got little stronger ripples and then they get bigger and they get more spaced out as they go along but what you dropped here right in front of you could have that ripple effect right across the other side of the lake or the pond or whatever you happen to be at so it's um, a reminder there that the little things you do have that ripple effect outward right and that can affect you and your future it can affect people around you right it can affect pretty much anything so the ripple effect is a real thing and we need to be reminded of that and i bring that back down to a physical um, a physical experience right something that you can see with your eyes and something that we've all experienced at some point in our lives right because you know quite often when we're talking about energy and we're talking about spirit and we're talking about ascending and all of these things it's sometimes hard to kind of you know, bring that into, you know, our human field of view or human point of view. So the ripple effect, that great thing where we see the waves in the water is that visual kind of connection there. So, and that's what happens with the universe, right? So whatever energy you project out there, right, does have that ripple effect on others as is does with you 
what people around you, what people, what you surround yourself with, what you attract towards you energetically, this has a ripple effect on you. So a decision that is made by, say, a significant other in their workplace has that ripple effect on you. It does spread out that way. So remember that everything is very much connected. We've got the Page of Cups. I love that. Page of Cups. We've got the Three of Wands. And we have the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, I think you are about to receive some very important information, some very important knowledge. We see that with the Rainbow Bridge and energy anyway. The Page of Cups is where we, uh, <laughs> we open up spiritually. Some of you are just starting your path. Others of you, you've been around for a little bit. But when we have the Page of Cups, this is opening you up spiritually. Um, this is maybe you've got a little bit of sense of wonder. You're looking around all bright-eyed and maybe even a little bit lost. And so just trust in your journey, okay, open, be with the, go in the, with the flow. You have the ability to create the life that you want. Remember that no matter what your, your situation is. The three of wands, right? Set an intention and then keep an open mind because this is an energy of expansion. But this is also an energy of being prepared for taking action for what is to come, okay? We need to be ready, we need to be prepared, and we need to trust, right? And be receptive, be open to the things that are coming our way. So it's a beautiful, nice, open energy, bring in all kinds of creation, bring in a little bit of sense of wonder, your heart is open, your uh, spiritual set side is open. And with the Page of Pentacles here, you could very well be gaining some new wisdom, insights, and knowledge. Okay, we're always on a we're always on a spiritual path of some kind, and this is one where you're probably going to experience um, quite a bit of growth or that big awakening for yourself there. Okay, so you know, do a little bit of research. Look up your birth chart if you don't know your birth chart for your astrology because it does play a key role um, in your in your life. It's amazing how it does actually, um, and uh, you know, so when you look up that and you see where all the planets line up and in your birth birth chart and everything you're like oh you know what I've experienced that through my life wow that's actually kind of cool so you might want to learn things like that you might want to learn how to work with candles or something like that especially with you being a fire sign but I think this is a time of new new experiences um, new sense of you new sense of being and the world is filled with a lot of mystery and wonder right now as for a manifestation you could manifest some new love into your life or some new friends right the pages do bring new they bring in good news and they're always excited about what's going on okay a sense of childlike wonder so in the page of cups we've got love we've got create creativity we've got some artistry that comes in here um, this is where we have more joy in our lives right Right, and where we feel connected with um, people and situations around us. Some of you may have a little bit of a surprise or something unexpected there that you can manifest in your life. The Page of Pentacles, um, again, that youthful kind of energy of be, having that open mind and being willing to learn things and you know being an open book. But again, you might be gaining new or new wisdom, new knowledge through this time. So whatever you're manifesting, the page of pentacles, you can manifest some money, some abundance into your life, maybe a new career path, something that's going to make you a little bit more happy, page of cups, and but keep your keep your options open, but be ready for action with that energy there, okay? We've got guidance coming in here for you. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Okay, make a wish upon the star. Sirius is right there, front and center. Okay, make a wish on that star. Dream big and ready. Be ready to make some moves. Your ship is coming in and we want you to be able to get on board. We've got clearing here as well. As, as true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to source, 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 uh, spirit, spirit, spirit. Such 
freedom, okay? So clear your mind, clear your energy. We've got three of wands there. Your blocks, your obstacles are removed and you are very much open and receptive in this. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some way. If so, please do like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. It lets me know you resonate with the reading, but it also tells YouTube to please show it to more people. So I'll have a wonderful 8-8 portal and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.